Tupelo and Lee County citizens are outraged by the recent plan to seek an indictment against a council member. WTVA's Keandria Malloy joins us live in Tupelo to tell us how people are trying to address this legal issue. Yes, earlier today, residents and elected city leaders gathered here at City Hall in support of Tupelo Councilwoman Nettie Davis. Now, many say that she's done too much for the community to be treated this way. She has worked in tirelessly, tirelessly her whole life to support Tupelo and Lee County, and this is just a travesty. District Attorney John Weddle will seek an indictment against Tupelo Councilwoman Nettie Davis. This came after she asked for money for a raffle to get people to vote before the general election. Pastor Jeffrey Gladden said he was at the event and said the district attorney blew it way out of proportion. She did not have an opponent, number one. She was just asking people to vote, number two. She didn't ask for people to vote for a specific uh, person. Her attorney, Jim Wade, filed a request in Hines County Circuit Court to see if her actions were illegal. He said he believes the statute they are bringing it under is unconstitutional. He felt it should be a misdemeanor. How can it be then that, they, that the large corporations or political action groups can give any amount of money directly to encourage voting for a particular candidate? But we can't have a, a, a waffle where a bunch of poor people will go out and uh, uh, have a chance to win a small amount of money. Citizens feel that the case Weddle is taking before a Lee County grand jury is completely unnecessary. I believe we will go the distance and do whatever we have to do to let uh, the DA and others know that you can't just mess with our heroes. Now, Nettie Davis is currently a Tupelo City Council member, Ward 4, and also a grand jury will convene in Lee County on next week. Live in Tupelo, Keandre Malloy, WTVA 9 News.